The first thing is have a look at the project. See where is it set, where can it be filmed, who is in it, uh, the cast, characters, um, who is the director, uh, who is the writer. You use this information when you go out and look for the country where you want to co uh, that you want to co-produce your film with. Uh, you look for countries where you can do the shooting, where you can do the post, uh, maybe the home country of the main authors, uh, of the stars, uh, the principal characters. Um. And also, of course, you look for, for territories where uh, there are some funding bodies that could participate to the co-production, but this is not a problem in most uh, European countries. Now, when you have chosen your countries, uh, you will go and look for the right partner within this country that you want to co-produce with. Uh, the right partner for you and for your project is, of course, uh, a partner that understands and likes the project. Uh, it's also a person that you like and that likes you and that you uh, communicate very well with. When you say something, then this person understands it in the same way and responds in a way that you understand. Because if this basic uh, mechanism does not work, then you are not going to survive a project together. When all of this works, you have found uh, the right person that, uh, of course, is also uh, likely to be able to, to uh, get the financing that you want to raise for the film. Then you'll have a look at which possible financiers within the territories could, uh, could be relevant for the film that, that you want to produce. You will have to go and look at, uh, for example, national funding bodies, uh, state money. Uh, you'll look at regional funds where you can spend uh, something during the shooting or during the post-production. And you look for TV stations within the territory. You will look at the national distributor within the territory. And you look at any uh, tax schemes, rebates, uh, whatever are available within the territory. And you'll also look at any possible private financiers, private equity financiers that can invest in the form of, uh, of deferred fees, of facilities and equipment, or in the form of, of uh, actually cash contributions into the firm. Of course, when you put together the, the total picture of the financing, the final financing plan, then you'll of course uh, try to attract as much um, soft money, as much softly repayable uh, financing as possible. License fees, state funding, uh, support money, grants, uh, and, and uh, distribution related money. And um, then afterwards you'll fill up with the, the hard equity that, that uh, takes ownership of the film and, and takes revenues uh, in perpetuity, etc., and, and eats in on the share that you as a producer could have had on the film. When you have put together all the different territories that you want to co-produce with, then you might also be eligible for one of the supranational uh, funding bodies, like for example Eurimage fulfilling all uh, the requirements of, of, uh, of Remage, and maybe uh, the Scandinavian Nordic Film and TV Fund. Uh, of course, you'll go and look for, for a sales agent, and this should be the best sales agent for exactly this project, meaning uh, the company that understands uh, this specific kind of films uh, better than anybody else, and who is the best to take the film to the market and, and the audience uh, that is out there outside the co-producing territories.